In marine radar systems equipped with ARPA or Automatic Radar Plotting Aid, two critical terms play a vital role in collision avoidance and safe navigation. Those are, the closest point of approach, CPA, and bow crossing range, BCR. Understanding these concepts is essential for every mariner to ensure safe passage in busy waters. In this video, we'll provide a detailed explanation and clear differentiation between the two, helping you navigate with confidence. Closest point of approach or CPA, represents the closest point the two vessels will approach each other, if both maintain their present courses and speeds. It is a point along the target's relative motion line, at which the shortest distance will occur between own ship and the target, if both continue on their present courses and speeds. CPA is a critical indicator for collision avoidance. A very small CPA signifies a higher risk of collision, and usually necessitates immediate action to adjust course or speed. While bow crossing range or BCR, is the distance at which a target vessel will cross ahead of own ship's bow or astern, if both maintain their present courses and speeds. BCR helps assess whether another vessel will cross dangerously close to our bow or astern. It is especially useful in understanding encounters with crossing vessels. Let's consider this scenario. The radar is set to relative motion display, with a north up orientation, in sea stabilized mode. In a relative motion display, own ship is considered stationary, so she is not displaying any vector or trails. Own ship is proceeding on a course of 224 degrees true, at a speed of 17 knots. We have an acquired target bearing 226 degrees true, with a range of 6.94 nautical miles. The target is displaying relative vector, which represents her motion in relation to own ship. The vector is set to relative, with a 10 minute time frame, meaning that if no changes occur in the course or speed of either vessel, the target's relative position after 10 minutes will be here, at the end of her vector. These are the necessary information that have been calculated by the Automatic Radar Plotting Aid or ARPA. The acquired target has a course of 064 degrees true, which explains why the target's bow is pointing in this direction, rather than aligning with her relative motion line. The target is moving at a speed of 8.1 knots. As long as both vessels maintain their present courses and speeds, the target will cross ahead of own ship's bow at a range of 5.06 nautical miles, which is known as the bow crossing range, BCR. From her initial position, it will take the target 5.04 minutes to reach this point, and this duration is referred to as the bow crossing time, BCT. If the BCR is negative, the acquired target will be crossing astern. Let's proceed to CPA, I will adjust the relative vector to a 20 minute time frame. The point on the target's relative motion line that is perpendicular to own ship's position, represents the closest point of approach, CPA, in which in this case, it has only 0.4 nautical mile. And it takes 18.48 minutes for the target to reach the closest point of approach from her initial position, assuming both vessels maintain their present courses and speeds, the duration referred to as TCPA, or the time of the closest point of approach. Either BCR or CPA may occur first, depending on the situation. In this scenario, the CPA occurs first, followed by the bow crossing range. If the target's relative motion line is perpendicular to own ship's heading, the CPA and BCR will occur at the same distance and time. That's all for now, I hope you found this video helpful, see you in my next video, thank you for watching, bye.